Welcome to a demonstration of how to create a database with structures in the Know-It-All Informatics System. Using databases that include structures provides a means of archiving chemical structures. This capability is useful for storing chemical structures you create and or edit, making them available for transfer to other Know-It-All applications for creating reports or performing searches. We begin with a new user database that has no data records. You can add a structure to the database by importing a file or by drawing the structure in the Structure Properties pane. We will open an existing structure file. The structure is displayed in the Structure Properties pane. Stereochemical descriptors are shown because stereochemistry is enabled on the View menu. Click Save to add the structure to the database record. The structure now appears in the database pane. Resizing the rows makes it easier to see the structure. We can now add properties to the database entry. Click Add in the Structure Properties pane. All available properties are listed. Select the property you wish to display, type in the value, then click OK. The property is displayed in the Structure Properties table. Continue adding properties as desired. Click in the next available row in the database pane to add another database entry. Structures can also be added by copying and pasting from another application, for example from the Draw It application. We will copy this previously drawn structure, then paste it in the Mine It application. The structure is pasted into the Structure Properties pane. Click Save to add it to the database record. Then add properties. For the next database record, we will copy and paste the structure in the second record, then modify it using the drawing tools available in the Structure Properties pane. Choose Edit Copy Structure. Click in the next available row in the database pane. Then choose Edit Paste Structure. The structure is pasted into the Structure Properties pane. We will modify the structure, then click Save to add it to the database record. The structure has been added to the record. We will edit the name to reflect the modifications made to the structure. This concludes our demonstration of how to add chemical structures to a database in the Know-It-All informatics system.